There we go. All right, so what's going on here? All right, Vans has a we. Okay, so it's late here, later than I wanted. Um, we had some uh, yeah, dark out, can't see the fire right now. Uh, we come home from town and we had some sheep escape and we had a little ram lamb get killed. So we've been kind of racing around doing that first. But the van has uh, a bit of a misfire going on. And I suspect it could be this coil pack here. So um, I'm just gonna throw in my timing light and see if these spark plugs, wires, all six of them end up throwing any sort of blinkity blink. And that'll tell me if the coil's not firing. And if the plug wires are making this light go off, then we will check the ends of the wires uh, with a dummy plug to see if the wires are conducting spark. But, watch that. Wires. Yeah, I got it. So number two fires. Look at that. See that? Plug wires arcing. The boot's damaged. We gotta replace the plug loop. Let's turn off the light. Well, that's what's going on. The spark plug wires damaged. Look at that. So we gotta replace the plug wires. Easy fix. So we can reset this just by pushing this plug wire back on, but since we're replacing number six, replace number six. And then, there's number six, or number nine, but this isn't a nine cylinder, so we're not gonna play pretty games with that. I knew this was a, a spark uh, ignition issue because when it would hesitate it was acting just like when this coil box went bad 
so I knew we were missing something and because it was intermittent I suspected either a bad coil or there's an electrical plug on the back side of this and then the other thing it could have been is the uh, get on there right. the other thing it could have been was oh four goes at the bottom six goes in the middle four goes at the bottom right that's how it came off six four two Okay, there we go. So it was either the wires, this coil, the plug into the coil, or the spark plugs. I've changed the spark plugs. I've changed this coil pack. So the only other thing it could have been was what we're doing right now. So let's pull these back ones off. Oh, so what the heck number is that one? Number five. Number five looks to be the shirtest. Somebody's always got to be the shirtest. So putting this stuff in here helps to prevent this right here. Spark plugs are a wear item. They do wear out. Thankfully, with it being the spark plugs, it's only like a $50 fix. Because if it was the coil pack, that's a $90 fix. And yes, I did buy another coil pack, just in case. Because Carrie has a farmer's market in the morning. So we don't want her not to make that. So, with buying extra parts, it makes sure that I could have fixed this. So, what number is that one? Number one. Should have known that based on where it was located on the engine, but hey. Sometimes when you've had a busy day, your brain don't tell you normal things, so. We're worried about forest fires these days. Last night was a late night coming home. We picked up our girls in haul car, so. Just a bit of a chaos these past couple days. So unfortunately the only way to test for that spark plug intermittent short like that the only way to test for that spark plug intermittent short that we had oh you guys can't even see nothing there we go there we go the only way to test for the spark plug intermittent short was literally just to look at it in the dark That one will just be the last one. We only got one plug wire left. And this one gets this one gets all the lube in it. All the dielectric grease. But there's not much left. I'm usually pretty balanced on this, I hope. Spark plug wire number two failed. It was shorting out to the engine block, right where I said it would be, right there. Oh yeah. Do you know where I said the, the oil yeah. was? Yeah. How's everybody doing? I just had two waters. The, those were the cheaper of the two things. Yes it was, those were the cheaper ones, so thankfully it was a cheaper fix. You kind of were thinking that a while ago too. Were we? Yeah, we mentioned that a bit ago. So. Oh, the plug wires? Yeah, yeah. Well, one pulled out. See? That one pulled out. Oh. So I, I had to reset one of these when I did the uh, plug wires because this undid. And this, this metal piece pulled right off. So I actually reset it. I think it was number five, but I just replaced number two plug wire.
think, I do believe, let's just make sure these are all on good. At least it's a really, oh, son of a bitch, stay there. What the hell did you break for? Did you let go somehow, you little shit? Whatever. Okay, why don't you give it a start and I'll just hear how it sounds, okay? Ooh, performance parts on a minivan. Oh, she sounds way better. Not dieseling anymore either. Looking good. Okay, I think you can turn it off. It's good to go for tomorrow. That was a quick and easy fix. The $50 part, not the 90 You can return that big, expensive one. You return the 90 Yeah, you still have to work for <laughs> Yeah. So for Stanley there, I just stuck the... I stuck the tarps over him here. Or the horse blankets to insulate and keep the predators out. And then I shoved a pallet under the tractor okay. so that the dogs couldn't get up onto here. Because Cassie with a dead lamb, she'll just sit here and try and beat the shit out of Ben all night long. So anyways, I need to put my tools away and I think this is buttoned up. I might just take and scrape a little bit of the gunk off around because the oil's leaking out of the valve cover gasket oh. and leaking down onto there, which can cause a short sometimes. So is that the one that shorted? Is that number yeah, two? number two shorted. That was the one that had the oil on it. So, um, and it looks really tight to the cylinder head there. So I'm not sure if I just take a screwdriver, which I actually think I have one sitting over in my tractor stuff, where, where my engine work was being done. The Dodge work was being done. Let me see here. Whoa! That's not very... Look at that's not very far from... That doesn't have very far to go, like... I'd like it if this piece of metal actually sat back, but there's a water jacket right there because this is your, your exhaust port. This is the EGR port. So there's an exhaust gas port that runs along here to this exhaust manifold. And that comes very close to this. So I could see number two being a problem on a lot of these vans um, just with how close it is to a ground. So anyways, because this is your exhaust EGR valve, exhaust gas relief. So this goes up to your intake and vacuum opens, closes, whatever, and it draws something somehow this way into here, which is your exhaust port. And you see how much space there is here. This is missing that because of this port here. So I could see number two on a lot of these minivans having a short on it just over time. So um, that's 3.3 liter, 2007 Dodge Caravan. Uh, that could be a fault with your ignition system right there. But we got it fixed up. Like Carrie said, something in our favor. Quick, short, dirty video. Uh, for Whistle Wind Ranch, I's the mechanic. Catch you guys later.